Thank you, Ben. Well, the shocking death earlier this year of Amy Dolly Everett shocked the nation when she took her own life after years of relentless online bullying. The tragedy raised awareness across Australia about the devastating impact of this type of bullying. And today is National Day of Action Against Bullying and Violence. To mark the occasion, the Prime Minister has shared this message. Schools and students are sending a clear message that bullying and violence have no place in Australia. So I congratulate and thank every one of those schools leading the way and taking a stand, whether it's within the school gates or online. Together, we will find the solutions to tackle bullying and violence. Say no to bullying. For more, we are joined by cyber and law enforcement expert Yasmin London. Yasmin, good morning to you. Good morning, Georgie. This fight is far from over, but I notice with this campaign, there's very much a focus on... on making it a positive thing if we can. Yeah, absolutely. Today is all about empowerment. So it's empowerment for young people, for parents, for schools and communities to really stand up against bullying. Um, the team at YSAFE, where I work, we do a lot of research around upstander behaviour and we've really found time and time again that it has sort of a positive contagion effect. So days like this, so important to celebrate. As opposed to being fearful, is that is that what you're saying? Yeah, absolutely. We need to empower ourselves to know that we can create change. Um, each one of us has the the potential to do that so days like this really remind us of that. Do you believe in your capacity that enough is being done to protect kids against cyberbullying? Look, there are so many people out there doing some fantastic things to protect kids, but I think we can probably all agree that while there's still instances like Dolly's um, incident, that there's always more that we can do. Um, you know, we really need to make sure that we're, we're taking this on as individuals and, um, you know, within our homes, within our schools, within our communities are really you know, making sure that we put the effort in to keep our children safe. Yeah, I know you've spent years consoling victims of, of cyberbullying during your time with New South Wales mm -hmm. Police. What's your message to parents? Because this is such a nightmare for so many parents out there who aren't necessarily tech savvy and yeah. they don't really know what's going on. Yeah, look, it's, it's definitely a difficult area, but there are some simple things that they can do. Uh, for example, to start with, just showing that they're interested in the lives of their kids uh, online. Um, you'd really find that once you show an interest in the games that they're playing, the social media platforms that they're on, uh, it really opens the communication lines up and you can find out a little bit about why they're so interested in these areas. Another thing that's very important is having the correct filtering software. So why say we recommend Family Zone. It's a fantastic app that will will block apps, it'll block inappropriate content, it'll help you as a parent regulate the amount of time your child is spending on the internet. It's in about 300 schools in many, many homes um, and it's actually on mobile devices as well, which is a great benefit for parents. It covers them there. All right. I guess also it's just talking to your kids, isn't it? And just keeping those lines of communication open. Absolutely. It's really important to make sure you talk. Yeah, lovely to see you. Thank you, Thank you so very much. much.